what we would do every day then was share everything. Mark and I kept sketchbooks and lyric books and with it came about from four different cassette tapes. But there were things in each of them that I liked and I started saying, why don't we combine these things over a central beat? Alan came up with what became the famous Whip It beat, which we thought at this time was just so cool and strange because it was kind of like jazz meets disco. And I had these lyrics I had written already for six months I had no use for it because I thought, well, they're so strange, nobody's gonna like them and they're not rock and roll. And the point of all this long drawn out story is that when you're a band that's collaborating freely, when there's no real hierarchical politics, and when you're sharing this information, great things can happen.